For more than 20 years, CTV has captured the moments that matter in our community. From our studios in St. Clair, you're watching Focus with Paul Dingeman. Well, welcome to a very special edition of the Focus program. My name is Paul Dingeman. Nice to see you. We are out at a wonderful place called Legacy Field here in St. Clair, which has become a, a real historic kind of thing. Uh, and the guy that's going to tell me about it is the coach. Coach, talk to me. Tell me what's going on here. What happened this year? Well, we, we uh, won our state championship this wow. year. It has the 10 you. And we're all out here to enjoy a little bit of a barbecue and get to, you guys get to meet a few of the girls and stuff and go from there. This is not the first time that you've had a state championship here. The, mm. the, the facility has had a number of them, right? The facility has had several. It's the first uh, for the 10U and 12U boys or girls. This is the second one. We did one in 2019 with the girls and then 21 we did, this is our second state championship. Uh, the Legacy Park, how old is it now? We, originally, we started down at, at uh, Clutcher Field and, and uh, went through some wonderful uh, presidents of the league. Yes. And uh, bring me up to date where we're at on that. All right. Well, I, I started playing in St. Clair with Joe Clutch and myself. And then I have coached or played for every president that's gone through St. Clair Little League so far. This is my 50th year. 5-0. 5-0, yes. I like the kids. I mean, <laughs> and I think they like you. Well, sometimes they do. I mean, most of the time I think they like me and stuff. You know, <laughs> we have a lot of fun and stuff. Uh, the number of years that this organization, this field's been here, I can't tell you. Okay. It's all a blur. It's all a blur. But it's all happiness and it's, it's all great. Uh, talk to me about these ladies. When did they, most of them, start uh, here at, at uh, Legacy Field? I'm sure, I'm sure all of them started in T-ball. Okay. So, and what age is that? Five and six. Right? Yeah. Okay. Five and six. Well, let's uh, let's get you let's step aside for a second, and I'll come down to the end down here, and I'll just say hello. And what is your name? Meadow Karras. And uh, how long have you been playing baseball? Softball. Softball. This is my fourth year. And what do you like about it? I just like everything about it. You like everything. What about this championship? What what was the, the highlight of the championship? Hitting, I like to hit me. Hitting, okay. And next we have? Cameron Kern. And what grade are you in at school? Fifth. Fifth grade, Going where do you fifth. go? St. Clair Middle. St. Clair Middle. What, tell me about baseball. How'd you get involved? Why'd you get involved? Um, I don't know. I just really liked how, how everything was and how everybody was so nice. And it was just and you had really friends. fun. Did you have friends playing? Yeah, it was really fun. Really fun. Okay. Any special highlight of the championship time? Um, I really liked hitting and pitching. Mm -hmm. Well, good. And what are you gonna do next year? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on being a pitcher. Good. Well, good luck to you. And next we have Blair Distelrath. Blair, what grade are you in? I'm in sixth grade. At Saint Mac where at Saint Clair Middle. Yep. Okay. And what position did you play? I played right field. Right field. And did you have uh, some great memories of this year in uh, right field? I made a good catch in one of the games. And, and how, how did the championship go? I was at third base and Derby Lurch did a sacrifice bunt so I got to score. Oh wow, pretty cool. Yep. How many runs did you score over the season? I have no idea. No idea, but they were all great. Yep. Oh, thank you. And next we have? Leah Sibula. And tell me about your season. Um, it was pretty fun getting to move up to first base and stuff from like the outfit. Had you played first base before? Uh, no. no. It was my first What time. was the experience at first base? It was amazing. It was so much fun. Uh, and any home runs you hit or any? I had a, I had a grand slam over on that. A field. grand slam? Yeah. That's really cool. That's yeah. really cool. Thank you. The championship uh, run, uh, any special memories from that? Um, very nerve-wracking, but <laughs> it was very fun. <laughs> but you guys got through it and you, yeah. you're, you're uh, ready for next year, huh? Yeah. Okay, and you're in your what grade? I'm going to sixth grade. Okay, very good. And next we have? Darby Larch. Hi, Darby. And you brought a fly, a uh, bee with you. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Darby, uh, tell me about your season. Um, it was really fun. It was fun to hang out with all the girls. And did you make special friends during the year? Yeah. Probably new friends? Yeah. Uh, any plays that you uh, remember that was exciting? Um, I play second, so I just remember all the grounders coming at me. And I caught a line drive once, I remember. Oh, wow. 
Was it coming out real fast? And yeah. You, and you caught it. Yeah. Good. Good. Oh yeah. Um, I. <laughs> uh, Blair just threw out. She was on third, and I did a sacrifice bun, and wow. she scored the run. And she scored. Oh wow! It's even better. Great. Great. Okay. Next we have. Kara Yeager. And uh, tell me about your baseball year. Um, it was fun. I was able to pitch a lot, and I made a lot of new friends. How many uh, games did you pitch, round figures? Uh, <laughs> one, five, ten. Probably almost almost the whole season. But Cam and Mallory also stepped in a lot. Do you you think you'll stay in pitching as you continue? I want to. Yes. You, you want to? Good. Any highlight uh, you want to share with us of this championship run? Um. When I pitched the last pitch and the um called a strike, I was just very happy. Oh, good, good. What grade are you in? Uh, I'm in sixth. You're in sixth also. Next we have? Ella Marie. Ella Marie. And talk to me about your season. Um, I think it was really fun. I got to meet a lot of new people, and I got to learn a lot. Okay. And what position have you played? I played outfield. Outfield the whole mm -hmm. season? Um, sometimes I sat on the bench, but... Okay. And any uh, uh, any thing you specifically remember about the championship run? Probably just like running onto the field, realizing that we won states. Yeah, that's always a great scene when the team wins and everybody runs. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And next we have Malia Smith. And tell me about your year at. Uh... Um, it was fun, and I got to play shortstop, so I was happy about that, and I made a lot of new friends. What other positions have you played? Um, outfield. And you like shortstop better? Yeah. Why do you like shortstop better? Because I get to make like a lot of new friends with my infield, with all the infield people, and it's fun to make new plays. So uh, did you have any uh, championship run uh, memories that you want to share? Um, I had in the, the, set, the first... The, um, <laughs> first inning? It wasn't in the championship game, but it was in a different game. I made a diving catch. All right. Okay. Did you scrape your knees? Um, no. No? But you had a great, great catch. A memorable catch. Mm -hmm. Great. And next we have? Violet Hunger. And Violet, tell me about your uh, championship run. Uh, it was really fun, and I like playing with all my friends. What uh, position have you played over the season? A uh, catcher. Catcher? Every uh, every game a catcher? Pretty much. So you didn't go out in the outfield or didn't do anything like that? Mm. Uh, any memorable uh, run, uh, memories from the from the championship run? Uh, yeah, Kara pitching the last pitch and me catching it, and it was very exciting. That was exciting, running out on the field and having all that joy. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, congratulations. Next we have? Mallory Randall. And Mallory, what grade are you in? Sixth grade. Oh, you're all in sixth grade? Okay, no, no, some, no, yes, maybe. And St. Clair Middle. Yes. And tell me about your baseball season and what you really like about baseball. Um, just getting to know people and how fun the sport is. It's friends and, and uh, sharing happiness and sharing uh, yes. uh, joy and, and being, uh, being, being on a great team. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's, what's going to happen next year? Are you going to play again? Yes. And what position, your same position? Third base. Third base. Okay. Do you like third base? Yes. Okay. Very good. And next we have Cameron Cody. Okay, Cameron Cody. Tell me about uh, baseball. Um. Your baseball. <laughs> um. Well, I think it's really fun. It's really nice to play because it's, because it's just like instead of baseball, you don't have to play with boys. You just get to play <laughs> with your, with your friends. I like that comment. You don't have to play with boys. <laughs> You don't like boys. Okay, we'll, we'll note that in your, in your uh, resume. What position do you play? Um, I mostly sat on the bench a little bit, but I mostly kind of played outfield. Okay, and outfield's fun? Yeah. Okay. What if uh, next year would, would you like to play a different position or stay um, on the bench? I really <laughs> am trying to go for pitcher this year. Oh, okay. All right. Well, good luck to you. Thank good you. luck. And next we have? Emma Hustick. And Emma, what uh, what do you like about baseball? What do you like about the St. Clair Little League? Uh, there's a lot of stuff to it, and you're always like doing stuff, and you're never just not really doing anything. What position have you played over the year? Uh, right field or right. center. And you go back and forth. Have you have you did you have any uh, memorable run during the the championship run? 
Um, not really. But you had fun with everybody as a team. Yeah. Great, wonderful. And we got a couple more. Who? What's your name? Adeline Boxdance. And talk to me about uh, what you what you what you did all season. Um, I had a lot of fun with this team. I was new to this team, um, you, and I got to make a lot of new friends. Did you? You got to make a lot of new friends. Have you played baseball before in other towns? Other um, I play in St. Clair. Okay. Most. All right. And finally, down here, who do we have? Macy Kerbrat. Okay, and talk to me about uh, your your baseball season. Um, it was really fun. I got to know a lot of new people. Mm. Well, tell me about uh, any memorable uh, hits or catches or anything you did. You had. Um, well, I got a couple good hits. I oh, did you? During mm -hmm. the championship or during the season? During the season. During the season. Mm -hmm. Well, great. Well, good luck, Coach. You uh, you've got a great uh, group of girls here and uh, uh, they must have been fun to coach. They're a fantastic group of girls to coach and stuff. Um, just to give you a little bit of how the scores went and stuff, we scored 113. 113? 213. Wow. 113 to 13. They outscored the opponents by that much. Wow. I mean, they just, I mean, walks-wise and stuff with my pitchers, with Mallory, Kara, and Cam, we had nine total walks. And that's amazing. it. That's it. And it's just, it's amazing. And every one of them had a, a moment here and there and stuff. Kim Cody didn't even mention that she scored the first run of the game in the championship game, which was uh, pretty cool. I put her in to run for Vive. I got a hit. And then I put Cam in, and uh, Cam stole second, stole third. And then we had a delayed steal on, and we had one out. So I told her, I said, when you're ready. She made the perfect timing, perfect everything to it. Slid underneath the tag, first run of the ball game. You were coaching, uh, you've been involved over 50 years, as you said. 50 years. Uh, you, you see teams come together, you see them fall apart. Uh, how do you rate this group? Well, these, these guys, I mean, all my girls have been a lot of fun and stuff, but the thing is, is with the girls and stuff, they don't fall apart too much if you catch it before they fall apart. And that's where I come in and stuff because I try to do that. I mean, I used to get uh, from Matt Karras and Matt Disarath and stuff when I was coaching the boys. Now here he goes calling a timeout again. <laughs> well, I get one timeout for your offense every inning and stuff when I was coaching the boys, and they used to you know, tease me about that. Well, I use my, my timeouts and stuff because I'm a coach. Yeah. What do you use a timeout for? To coach. Right. So, you know, I just, I always laugh when people sit, say something about the timeouts that I call and stuff, and they ask me when I make up my mind when I'm going to call a timeout. I don't know. <laughs> it's in the moment. It's in the time, no matter what the situation is. So... Well, congratulations to you and uh, your, all your years out here at uh, Legacy Field and the Kletcher Field and uh, all that you've done for uh, the community over the, over the years. And I know you're going to continue. You said you were going to do that at City, City Council the other night. Yep. And a uh, big hand. How about a big hand for the, for the ladies here? And uh, it's been a special group. And uh, we were, had, uh, had, were thanked to have the opportunity to uh, spend a few minutes with them. And they wanted me to get off the stage here so they can eat. So I'll, uh, I'll say goodbye. Thanks for watching Focus with Paul Dingaman. Focus is produced at the CTV Community Television Studios in St. Clair. For over 20 years, CTV has captured the moments that matter to our community.